Hey guys, Silent ZL here. Welcome to the very first Pokemon Cafe Mix video of 2021. Happy New Year to all you guys. And if you guys are Japanese followers, Ake Mashte Omedeto Gozaimasu. So let's begin the new year with seeing whether I actually successfully obtained Lucario from the Christmas event because my team on the mobile version doesn't seem to be that hardworking as compared to my Nintendo Switch account. So I'm I'm praying hard. I'm praying hard for some good luck uh, at the beginning of the year. So let's take a look at the New Year greeting that the developers have written up for us. Happy New Year. Thank you for playing Pokemon Cafe Mix in 2020. It's been six months since the game was released. Wow, six months. And we couldn't be happier to have support of our players uh, who have been part of the cafe staff and enjoyed playing puzzles alongside Pokemon uh, just like you and me. We are currently planning on a major update so that you can have even more fun playing puzzles with Pokemon. Stay tuned for more details. We hope you will continue to support Pokemon Cafe Mix in 2021 from the development team and operations staff. Yes guys, thank you guys so much as well for 6 months of support of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. Hopefully you guys have been having fun during your journey and joining me on my journey. Uh, of course, we're not going to purchase that bundle pack. Um, it feels like this year passed by so quickly. Let's continue to do our best in 2021. Vivi! <laughs> I'm counting on you, Eevee! Oh, look who's back! Wow, did you see something pass by? V? Ban Ban! Score Bunny is back! Alright! So like we mentioned in the last video, the three starter Pokemon from the Gala region are coming back to us in Pokemon Cafe Mix um, during the month of January. So that's pretty exciting for new players of Pokemon Cafe Mix. If you guys are old players just like me, it is the time to take this opportunity to level up your event Pokemon to level 2 or level 3. Um, if you guys haven't been working hard when they first appeared during those events. So let's do our best. Let's try to get them to as high a level as we can. Alright, this might be our chance to get Scorbunny to love our cafe. In fact, he's already loving our cafe. So all we have to do is just maintain the love and level him up. Alright, so here we go. We just have to tap that finish button with the Lucario logo and see whether you know we have good luck. Or bad luck of 2020. The team order has ended. Car. Oh, Lucario ate a lot and seems to be very satisfied. Uh oh. It's a bit of work, but uh, it was really fun. Hope we get to have a party again. So let's see the results. Oh, Lucario did not join the team. That's a bummer. So I guess we probably have to wait for Christmas to come around again. Uh, ooh, that's going to be another whole year. Oh, well. So we didn't really successfully get Lucario to join. But at least if Lucario does return again for another Christmas event, we might get him to join us. And the thing is, we don't even know if he'll be coming back because he was kind of like a raid event that requires teamwork from the other team members. Um, unless he comes back as a regular event like Score Bunny and all this, who knows? Let's see how developers decide to plan things along for Lucario. Uh, for the meantime, let's just work hard with recurrent events and clear the stages as uh, much as we can um, for this new year. So yes, our resolution for Pokemon Cafe Mix is to try and get to the end of all the levels that are currently available. Let's take a look. How many levels do we currently have? Um, you know, ever since they patched, so it's 750, we are at 461, uh, that's 110 levels, or 109 levels to go, so let's do our best. <laughs> Alright, so let's see, um, let's go refresh, because let's try to get at least Pokemon that are of a lower level or have yet to join the cafe. Okay, at least that's Audino, so let's go with this. And let's go with Squirtle, who is needed, or rather recommended. Oh no, look at all the olives, oh god. Okay, so let's do our best with this one, so let's go ahead and start off with Squirtle's icons, because, uh, you know, get the skill power. Um, of course, we want to try and get as many vegetables as possible as well. Um, meanwhile, let's try and uncoat all the items that are being covered with olive oil. 
you know, because that tool is important. All right, let's get all the Squirtle icons. Clearing vegetables along the way. All right, we do need to have the other skill icon unlocked, you know, because it's covered in olive oil. Okay, so let's do this. Let's destroy as many others as possible at one go. Okay, a bit of stuff still coated in olive oil, but that's fine. Okay, still coated. That's okay. It's really annoying when, like, you uncoat stuff and then, of course, um, you know, you destroy olives at the same time, then they recoat again. And of course, we have that problem where we need to push all the items to go in and mix up with the canisters and all that kind of stuff as well. So that is a problem. So let's get things in. Come on, push them in. Okay, maybe let's use the skill. Alright, we used up everything. So that's kind of a bummer. Alright, so all the stuff is mixed up together. So now we just need to... Oh, we should have just used a megaphone to destroy the olive. And we have been done. Oh, that's what happens when you're not paying attention. That's okay. At least we cleared the level. Even though we used up all the moves. That's fine. A bit of a sniffle because... Strangely enough, since the year started until now, today's the 3rd of January, it's been raining non-stop <laughs> from 1st January until now, in my country at least. Uh, I guess this is what we call winter in Singapore. <laughs> I mean, we don't have snow here, but we do have constant rain because we are kind of near the equator, so monsoon is kind of a thing. Um, the weather is cold, but sadly to say not cold enough to give us snow. If it does snow in Singapore, it means it's come, something coming towards the end of the world. So, uh, yeah, so that that's the thing as well. <laughs> Alright, so let's gather all the Starly icons. We do need to destroy the um, items, or rather the cans. Alright, accidentally touch Lucario, so let's just make use of the, the accident and gather as much points for the skills as possible. Yeah, getting a bit of help from the megaphones. Alright, let's gather up all the starly icons. Fantastic. Okay, so let's destroy this bunch of canisters as well. Alright, a bit of luck from the megaphones. We do get a, a bump with one of the pumpkins, so that's fine. Alright, if we can move all the pumpkins in together, that would be great. Alright, let's push them in. There we go. Okay, so let's try and push them in as close as possible so that the megaphones that are being summoned are able to help out destroy. Oh, so close. Okay, so we just have to destroy the pumpkin and we're done. So that's it. Have to pay attention this time round. And my nose is leaking like crazy, oh god, guys. Uh, I think you can hear the shuffling of the tissue paper around my nose. Uh, this is bad. What a way to start the year. Uh, but it's okay. At least it's not. At least it's not the pandemic that's causing me uh, the sniffles. All right, so we are done with the party. Let's move on with the regular stages. Okay. So, oops. Oh, I thought it was score bunny because the, the red ears. Apparently, it's plus. So that's fine. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hmm. So we have chestnuts and a bit of a problem with the whipped cream bags. So let's just handle things one at a time, I guess. Um, let's surround the whipped cream. Yeah, there we go. Bit of Charmander's help. Not many Charmander's, but oh well. Okay. Alright, so let's gather all the skills that we can. We do need to pay attention to the eggs though. So that is one concern. Okay, let's power things up. 
destroying all the chestnuts at one go, we can not. We, I mean, we don't have to worry too much about the whipped cream because eventually we do need to gather the icons together. But we do need to worry about the eggs though. Mmm, the sniffles. Okay, so there seems to be a lot of Charmander, so let's gather Charmander around. And of course, you know, wrap ourselves around the egg baskets and of course the whipped creams. Don't forget the whipped creams. Okay, there is two whipped creams and one chestnut. So let's just gather icons to get rid of the whipped creams first. Because it's easier this way. Oh, we missed out on... Oh, I forgot we only had one move. Oh, come on. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the chest... I mean, the, the chestnuts to add on three moves. Of course, I can afford to. <laughs> uh, I'm just too lazy. Oh, my nose is just irritating me, so I don't really have the energy to retry the level. So don't mind me, guys. Oh... Oh my goodness, if you guys are sick, let me know in the comment down below as well. I hope you guys are doing well, you know, um, wearing your mask, washing yourself, uh, sanitizing and all that kind of good stuff. Protect yourself and your loved ones while having fun with the Pokemon Cafe. Okay. Ooh, a lot of bubbles. Oh no, two combos of 28. Okay, so let's just get all the Togepi skills. Hopefully there's enough here to do... Oh, that's not enough to do 28. Okay, so there's a lot of Jigglypuffs, but let's get rid of all the study first. Uh, we do need to unleash the canisters. There we go. Lots of Jigglypuff now. Okay, at least we get one round of 28. Okay. A lot of Starly icons, so let's get rid of Starly first. And of course, let's pop all the red popcorn kernels. Alright, let's get rid of the Togepi. Okay, now that we have that done... Uh, okay, we are in kind of a pipe jam. Okay, lots of Starly. Let's gather them. And of course, cover the popcorn kernels if we can. Okay, let's just go for the canisters for now. Because they're a bit more problematic than the popcorn stuff. Okay, we should be able to clear all the popcorn kernels with just the megaphone that we have here. There we go, and we're done! Simple as that! Fantastic. Okay, moving along. Alright, snubble. Let's satisfy Meow's hunger. Oh no. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to use Snubble's skill to destroy all the chocolates. But we do need to be careful of the amount of caramels there are because we do need space for new icons to fall in. So that is something of concern. Alright, let's gather all the Pikachu icons. Alright, there we go, our very first icon. I mean, skill. Okay, we got two, so let's gather. Can we gather a tree row? Apparently we can't, so let's go with two. We can always destroy the chocolates through the usual means of, you know, icon gathering. Oh boy, do we have enough? Oh no, we don't have enough. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> We're gonna have to retry the level, we're too far away from, you know, clearing the stage. I mean, just with three moves, that's, that's just unfortunate, so... Okay, let's do this again. Get a Snubbles icons. Of course, let's destroy as many, um, you know, caramels as we can while doing so. And of course, the sugar cubes and all the good jazz. Okay, Michino. There we go. 
Um, I think Pikachu should be enough to give us that our skill. There we go. So with this, let's, let's clear. Oh, we can do a tree roll. That's fantastic. Alright. Let's gather all the snubbles. We do need to uncoat that caramel though, so that's kind of a pain. We do need one more. Okay, let's gather as many Pikachu's as possible. That wasn't enough. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so we do need to use the Acorn to help us out. So this level is definitely one of concern. Okay, we're gonna use this. So it might not be possible to clear the level without the use of um, the 900 Acorns. I mean, technically you could use you could use the items that are given to you um, through gifts and all that to maybe generate a brand new skill quickly you know, to help you clear the level instead of using 900 acorns so that is another thing you can consider alright so let's move along so no sight of score bunny yet which is okay eventually he'll come Ooh, we do need a link of 30 though do we have enough muscles? To do a 30? Oh yes we do! Alright, so let's shift the mixable items along. Okay, let's destroy as many tomato bottles as possible. Alright, okay, here we go. Let's try and push them together. Can we do that? Okay, let's push them together. Alright, let's destroy the bottles at the same time. Oh no, it's jammed there. Oh oh. Okay, so can we push this? There we go. Fantastic. Okay. So technically we could clear the bottles right now, but you know we do need that score. So we're gonna go ahead and clear Pokemon I mean Pokemon icons just for the purpose of the score factor. Fantastic stuff. Okay. So let's push this bottle closer so we can destroy did we touch the other icon oh come on okay we're just gonna do this then we're gonna waste one extra move just to clear the level but that's fine as long as we clear the stage it's all good all right simple as that so as, as long as if we clear the priority of um, mixing the items together i think I think you should do fine. The tomato bottles aren't exactly very difficult. And don't mind me, I'm gonna blow my nose again. It's just horrible. Ah, you know, how blocked my nose is due to the weather. And, you know, I, I, I'm a kind of person that also has morning sinuses, so... Uh. Oh, Mimikyu is recommended, but no! It's never a good idea to use event Pokemon as a recommended Pokemon to clear the stage. It usually doesn't end well. <laughs> okay, so let's go with Executor. Okay, we do have Marshmallows of Concern. So take note of the Marshmallows because they do light up and fade off. You know, that is one of the main issues. Then of course there is the Strawberries as well. So that is also another problem. So, oh god, so many things to take note of. Okay. Charmander's. Make sure you uncoat all the olive stuff as well. Fantastic. Okay, so let's just combine this and clear all the olives at one go. Well, technically most of the olives. Um, there is one here at the bottom. So we do need to cover the strawberry stuff. So let's do all the strawberry things right now. Okay, let's get out of the executors because we can make use of the, the skill to help us out if possible. There we go. And we should be done. Fantastic. Not too problematic. It can be of a concern um, if we don't have the icons touching certain things the majority of the time. So be careful of that. Oh, Scorbunny has finally appeared! Look! 
hope we, our yummy offerings turn this Pokemon into a fan of our cafe. Hey, it is a fan and we're just here to power him up to its next level. I think I think Score Bunny oh Score Bunny is only level one. Oh, we barely met him. Uh, the requirement of having, having him join the cafe the last time, I guess. Oh well, it's time to work hard and get him to level 2. Oh no, what is this? At least the basket to this level is kind of wide. So we don't have too much of a concern. We do need to set the tomatoes free though, that is, that is a problem. But let's clear all the honey as much as we can first. Okay. I think powering up um, the skill is technically a good idea because he does have um, double activation, you know. Okay. Alright, we need to get rid of that last ice cube though. There we go. So let's merge this together. Luckily the megaphone is pointing in the direction of the pumpkin. Okay, so let's just gather all the tomatoes in. Um, there is a concern of that last pumpkin though. Okay, all the pumpkins are in. So let's just destroy them all. Right, one last pumpkin to go, and we are good. Fantastic. So, yeah, be very careful with the placements of the pumpkin for this one. It would have been good if like all the pumpkins were actually still stuck in that corner that they originally started in, and then you have the skill to just destroy them all at one go. So yeah, but then there is that concern of the tomatoes. You know, you have to push them into the basket. So unless you're very good with that. Uh, I think the pumpkins are of, of a bigger concern. Okay, so let's go with Wabafet for this one. Oh boy. Okay, so there seems to be a lot of Pikachus around, but the thing is we do need Wabafet skill to get things going. We do need to destroy all the cans if we, we possibly can. No, no pun intended, but still. Okay, so let's gather Wabafet close to the can so that the megaphone might eventually destroy. At least we got an opening, so that's fine. Um, let's gather more Wabafets, and of course, let's gather more vegetables. Okay, let's turn all the icons here into megaphones. Okay, not the best destructions that I was hoping for, but you know, at least something was done. Okay, same thing. Let's get all these into megaphones. Hopefully they point in the direction of the cans. Okay. Yeah, there we go. More vegetables, please. You gotta eat your veggies, kids. Okay, megaphones. Yes, there goes all the cans. So now we just have to focus on the f veggies. And of course, the score. Not so much of a megaphone concern anymore. Considering that Wabafet does destroy or rather produces megaphones. So that's that's okay in my book. Okay, let's go. Look at all that megaphones giving us the score that we need. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. Okay, let's gather more. And we're done! Simple as that. Alright, very close to the end of the video. Barbosaur, you're up next. Oh boy. Okay, so this stage definitely makes use of Bubblesaw's skill, um, you know, 
considering that a lot of the icons are in a very good position for the axe destruction. So, yeah. Okay, so we do this. I mean, we won't be changing any of the icons to, uh, you know, help us out. Maybe we should have destroyed um, the, I uh, the chocolates on this side first because we will have more space for icons to enter the area. Oh well, what's done is done. Here we go. Okay, we do need a link of 30, so let's make use of the slurp half icons. Okay, let's destroy as many of the popcorn kernels. Okay, uh, let's gather all the bubble saw icons. Definitely won't be enough for 30. Oh, we actually covered the 30. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, so let's clear the last popcorn kernel. And hopefully that does give us enough score. Currently not. So since there are more Pikachus, let's go with all the Pikas. And we should be done with the score and the stage as well. So yeah. Um, so yes, like I said, it would be ideal if you actually destroy the chocolates on the outer side on the right. Um, before you set the popcorn stuff free. You know, just because we need the icons to help gather us more skills. Oh, friendship bonus. Not that we need it, but okay. Considering that it is not the raid event. Alright. But you know, it's always nice to have an extra boost in stars. Just to get the Pokemon to the next level, or maybe to towards a gift. Oh, there's a lot of... Marshmallows, that's concerning. Okay, so we do have to get rid of the caramels as well, including of the marshmallows. So be very careful, especially when it comes to the marshmallows because they're all time. Hmm, okay. Let's get the eggs and the marshmallows as well. Alright, let's get more icons. There is, there is that one marshmallow there at the corner. Okay, we are done with that. Togepi, there's a lot of Togepi. Let's go in all the way if we can. Oh, come on. Such a tight squeeze. Okay. Can we go all the way in? Alright, let's destroy the marshmallows and a few eggs as well. Okay, we are three marshmallows away from completion. It's just a matter of time. The only problem is, you know, do we have all of them covered? Oh god, we are not covering them. Oh god, oh god, we are, we are, we are stuck. So that's the problem. <laughs> oh, look at that. We, we, we are just short of the two marshmallows. I'm gonna use the 900 acorns here because it's just. You know, it's just women of grass. Such a waste of effort. Oh well. Ugh, my nose. Okay. I'm sorry for the gunky noise. That's how blocked it is. Alright, here we are on the very last level for this episode. Let's claim that gift. Not that we use them. I should start using them, but... Uh, I mean, the point of all these videos is just to show you guys that the levels can be cleared without the need of these items, uh, technically, you know. Uh, and of course, the most you need to do is just use that that 900 acorn refresh, and you should be fine. Oh no, what is with this level? Oh no. Okay, we should definitely get rid of all the olives that are currently available um, to destroy. Alright. So let's just get all the icons that there are majority of and just destroy the others first. Alright, now we can use Plusso's skill. Alright, let's set free more others so we can just destroy the others. You know, while other things are still not free from their captivity. Because we don't really want to get things like coated with olive oil. So that's that's the thing. Oh god. Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's set more stuff free. Okay.
Alright. I think we're doing okay. <laughs> Such a waste of all the skills, but oh well. There we go. Let's get all these items free. I think the others are more of a concern. We might not make it in time. Yep, we might not make it in time. Oh no. Oh well. Okay, so are we going to be able to clear this with the 900 Acorn Refresh? I have a feeling we won't. So let's just retry the level. Let's do our best to clear this. Okay. Here we go again. Alright, now that we've destroyed those, let's move along. Okay. Alright, so let's do this. Hopefully the olive doesn't coat the... Oh, I did. I did. Okay. Let's gather all the puzzles. Alright, so let's set three more stuff. I think the main problem with the last round is that we weren't constantly letting things come out. Okay, with this we should be done with this batch of olives. There we go, let's set these guys free. Now the concern here is that the tomato bottles might be of a problem. Oh no. Ooh. Seems like this level is definitely one of concern that you need to um, use that 900 acorns. So let's go ahead with that. Um, okay, there we go. Can we touch the other bottle as well? Yep. Alright, so let's gather as many of these as possible. Um, of course, destroying as many of the bottles. Oh dear lord, we are short of the 33 link. Oh no, what is this nonsense? Oh god. Okay, it seems like we have to do it. We have to go into the 1300 Acorn retry. That is just... Oh my goodness. Okay, if you guys actually have an idea on how to clear this level without needing to go beyond the 1300 acorn refresh let me know in the comments down below i can't think of anything aside from the fact that maybe you might have to end up using the items that are provided at the side on the screen um you know just to help you out you know destroying stuff easily but i'm just gonna go with it because you know this is just horrible and we need castle skill to kind of like change um, most of the icons to the majority that we need. Alright, there we go, we've got the 33 done. Then let's use the skill to destroy the last tomato bottle and we are good! Finally, oh that was an expensive retry. Very expensive, oh boy. Well, I guess there are some stages that are just like this. That can't be helped. Oh, very close to getting Munchlax to level 3. So that's fine. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys are doing well in the new year. And of course, if you guys are struggling through the levels, as usual, I hope my videos help you out. 
Um, and if not, you know, as long as you're here enjoying yourself, and you know, if you enjoy the content I make, let me know in the comments section down below, and of course by leaving a like to this video. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Subscribe button. What even word am I saying? And of course, ring that bell notification icon so that you guys know whenever I upload something brand new. So you guys are always, you know, in touch with me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye!